about it. You having fun? Hi. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. We have made it to Loveland, Colorado. This is my first expo. Chase's... Overland Expo. What did I say? Expo. Okay, Overland Expo. <laughs> How many expos have you gone to? A lot. So there's like five expos, I think, per year? There's four Overland Expos per year across the United States uh, between you know north side, east side, south side of the U.S. so people can get to them. And this is in Colorado, which is Mountain West. So there's two West ones. That's how big they are. And this is the first one that I'm getting to come mm -hmm. to. And so I thought that I would film as much as possible because I want to remember this I as my first expo. Yeah, I'm excited. With my hubby here. and my kiddos. we got the kiddos. I feel like this is going to be a lot of fun just from looking around. And Loveland is beautiful. Right now we're just waiting for the, um, I guess, Red Ark. Red Ark is who we, or I say we, like I'm a part. Uh, who Chase and I are here for, um, and Ford Bronco, obviously. Yeah, we're just waiting for them to tell us where we need to park the featured vehicle, because his vehicle is the featured vehicle in the expo. So this is gonna be cool to share this with you. What's the matter, Shanda? What's the matter, Mama? Chris from uh, the one that painted the fenders for me. Yeah. He uh, he got his build date on his Bronco. So 21 and a half months he waited. And he finally got his Wild Track Cyber Orange Bronco. Oh confirmed. my gosh, that's yeah. so, so awesome! Yeah, it's always cool whenever um, he meets people and they get their build dates um, because he has his Bronco and he like meets so many people. They usually have a Bronco in order and they haven't gotten it yet. So um, it gets Chase really excited. Me too, because I mean, waiting for things stinks. So it's really cool when people get their Broncos finally. So. Happened? Got us in a cool spot. Really? Is it in the grass? Yep. Oh, yay! Right by the bathrooms. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Setting up? What? Setting up? Level on it. Oh, that is so cool. So. What is this trailer, like this trailer sponsoring you, Red Arc is sponsoring you, what's the difference? So Red Arc makes all of the power management that's in the trailer and the Bronco, meaning however I can charge things, keep things powered up. So they're in both components. So I'm here in Red Arc's booth, but I'm ambassador for the trailer company and the Bronco. So they all have all of it. It all intertwines. And Ford. And Ford, yeah. So, I, but I'm in Red Arc's booth here at this specific expo. Oh, we are unhitched. It's gonna make for a great thumbnail. Jackie and I have oh. kind of a lot of plans, <laughs> but then again, not a lot of plans. We're gonna be here at the expo for three days. We've got an Imagine Dragons concert on the 5th. Uh, we our just, favorite band, our, yeah. together. Which, and then we found out that Cirque du Soleil is actually playing in that big convention center right behind us. <laughs> zoomies, zoomies. The dogs are going crazy. <laughs> uh, anyway, and we're gonna be sort of, we're gonna, we might hit some national parks. <laughs> Um, between here, New Mexico, and Texas over the next week and a half. I have Bronco Super Celebration in a few days. So, God lord, the dogs are going crazy. I always wanted to play right now. Uh, anyway, just enjoy the adventure, we're not guys. Gonna, we're not going to do a whole lot of planning. It's yeah. just going to be like, what is on the adventure? Yeah. Whatever happens, happens, and we're just going to go with yeah, it. Yeah, this so. is just a straight up going to be an adventure vlog. So there's not going to be no hardcore Bronco stuff. I mean, it'll be in, in here, but yeah. Obviously, you can't so, be chased without We just wanted Bronco. to take you guys along for the ride. Jack and I want to be able to watch this stuff down the line and uh, reflect on things that we did. Uh, you know, So, hope you enjoy the video. It's going to be a fun adventure. Thousand miles is non stop, you know. Oh. So, we're gonna go walk around the booth. I mean, the booth. walk around the expo. The expo, we gotta get our. We've been non stop talking since, since 7 6 a. 
Seriously, been nonstop. Yeah. Because the unit of. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank I feel much better about that cookie yesterday. <laughs> That's so cool. That actually is really cool. I was going to say, I want to squat. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's a long day. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of fun, though. We did not stop, I think, from like 6.30 a.m. all the way till noon. Now. Well, till now, but like till noon, we didn't even like stop talking to people. Like there was yeah. no break of stopping and not talking. There was no, there was no break all day. I agree. I mean, or at I, least for me. I feel like I got a little bit of a break because then Paul and Mike came uh, and me. started helping out and then they started talking to everybody and then the Overland community is freaking incredible. Such nice people. Such they're, warm and fuzzy. They're very, yeah, they're very welcoming. accepting and welcoming. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah, this community is super rad. Mm -hmm. It really is. Look at your lens. This thing right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. close that from now on. <laughs> No, that's how I know I'm in the camera. Stop telling me that. I like to look at it. I like to make sure it looks good. So if the lighting changes, I can fix it. And if I always look at the side... You're not looking at who's watching the video. Anyway... That was, wow, husband and wife bickering. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Comment below as, if you as I'm rather, looking at the camera no, little thing... Comment below if you'd rather <laughs> us look at you, not whatever's over there. That's because I like to look or to make there. sure. Shut up. They're gonna be like, "What the hell is she looking at?" Shut up. <laughs> something, something good must be going on over there. <laughs> it was really, really cool. If you guys stopped by and you said hey, um, and you just chatted with us, thank you guys. Um, we really, really enjoyed it. So, all right. We're gonna go eat. We're gonna go eat and I'm sleep. I'm tired. I am worn the f out. Good morning. What are you doing? I'm making coffee finally after a very long morning without it. <laughs> we finally got into the expo. We had a little trouble doing so this morning, just so you guys know the context of my mood. <laughs> and you also have a crick in your neck. And I have a terrible crick in my neck. <laughs> Looks like I got ran over by the Bronco. So it's not been the most graceful morning. Yeah. But nonetheless, uh, we've made it to day two of the Overland Expo and we're ready to rock and roll. Today's Saturday, so it's going to be a madhouse. All right, we're going to make some coffee and probably have breakfast. Yeah. It's already made. Oh. I got cream I mean. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so we're like standing here just chit chatting and look at this. We're right line, by the entrance. Right by the entrance. Look at all the people. That's just like a portion. Yeah. And you can see them like right all right there. They're about to walk in and we're right in the entrance. Saturdays so. are crazy at the Expos. Like so. it's gonna be exhausting today. So tell, because like this might be for my channel or your channel, whichever yeah. one, but like tell people why people come to these Expos. Because okay. of, like, yeah, so Overland Expos specifically have been around for a hot minute. However, when the pandemic hit, you couldn't do anything. So more and more people were getting outside. So Overland and Outdoor Expos, skyrocketed because it's now allowed people to do more things outside and adventure by way of nature essentially so you know events like this it's all these companies it's everybody in the world literally that creates and develops you know parts uh tents, tents anything that allows your experience outside to even be even like uh like emergency kits like yeah all kinds of anything that allows those experiences to be more comfortable are here so i mean the line is just absurd yeah. they're yeah. about to walk in <laughs> i'm like you need to give me the rundown and get on the trailer so i make sure i tell them everything like they, they're coming in oh my gosh let it <laughs> Okay, Charlotte. 
first time in a Bronco? It is the <gasps> first time. Ooh, oh my gosh, what do you think so far? First impression. First impression is actually pretty comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we have a Jeep Wrangler. Okay. Um, built, you know, so it's, but uh, these <laughs> chairs are pretty sweet. Do you guys do the off-road thing? Like, yeah. where you go mountain passes and everything? Oh yeah. Yeah. Wait till you try this bad boy. These yeah. These are pretty popular <laughs> now out where it used to be only a JK world. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Not to say they're taking over, but they're doing a pretty darn good job. Yeah. My husband, he has his YouTube channel, um, he's put this thing through some stuff. This really? One? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. And sometimes I have to wife walk it and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <Yeah. laughs> this is an 11. They're, they're awesome units. Hey guys, so I wanted to really quick do like a informational thing about the trailer. Uh, just in case somebody's watching this video more for like the adventure side and they wanted to see the trailer and you know know a little bit about it. I'm 5'1 and I have no issues reaching up here into the, uh, I can't do it with one hand, but uh, reaching into the drawers. And just so you guys know, I'll give you guys like a little walk around of the trailer so you guys can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. You know, you've got these big drawers here. You've got lights, you've got the latches obviously. This is very sturdy. Uh, we've got our little stove here. We've got a sink here. Put this up. Water turns on. I think he's got it off right now. You turn it on right here on the red arc. Uh, control system, all that good stuff. Shut that, shut that. We've also got this here, more space. Okay, I'm doing a walk there. We've got the fridge here. Just pull that out, of course. It's very, very big. Huge, huge refrigerator. Got more space down there for all your food. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, walk around to the back side. Got power outlets, which I think is great because I can charge my watch and it magnetizes to it. So it's nice. Uh, you've got this whole big storage. Got our tent up. I actually have not been in the tent yet, so that's going to be fun. Got the awning out. Let's see what else? Just kind of showing you guys a little bit about it. I'm not going to go super in detail, but just to show y'all what we are set up with right now. Again, this is the Expedition Trailers. Um, it is called the Off, uh, Off Tracks Phoenix. It's so cool. The Tundra ever. In person. There it is right yeah, there. It's awesome. It's going to be about the way. So I okay, you guys, really quick, just want to give an update. Chase and I are here at the CBI booth. And he is about to do, uh, or they are about to do a giveaway, and he's going to be one of the people that throws out the stuff. So pretty exciting to see him do what he does. So, so cool. Look at him killing it. Beating people, being friendly. I just love that about him. So, yeah, tons and tons of people are like getting ready for this giveaway. So it's gonna be fun. Goodies. Come on around. Get comfortable with one another. Extra small. Then on the box. Open the door and you. How many Colorado natives do we have here? Catch. Hey. Hey. Let's go, baby. Hey. Let's go inside here. So, small size and big size. Day two was yet again another very long day. Very, very fun day. Yeah, it's a very fun day, but it's a lot. It's a lot. Is it's a lot of work. It's, it's a lot of work. It's, like me watching you, I'm like, damn, this is a lot of work. This is not. It, and you love it because you're good at it, and you love meeting people, yeah. and you love the community, I, and yeah. this everything about obviously because it's all like overland and be in the mountains, be outside. But like, yeah. you're, you're yawning in my video. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so everyone that's watching, if you came and saw me. It's all us, 
and the Bronco, whatever. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate it. I have met several of you guys that watch the channel and watch me on Instagram or watch what Jackie and I are doing amongst our adventurous, crazy lifestyle. And like, thank you so much for the support because yes. it truly means a lot that you take time out of your day to to want to know what we're doing. Want to be a part of our day. Yeah. I mean, that's like that means a big. That's a big deal for us. Just a minute, we're, o we're overlanding really quick. Yeah. I don't know where we're going right now. I'm gonna do it's because you missed that turn. Uh, so, day two was successful. Success. And we yeah. are. We met a bunch of really cool people. Yeah. We're wrapped up the day. We're gonna go drop the dogs off at the hotel, and then we're gonna rinse off, and then we're gonna go have dinner with CBI Off Road. They're a longtime partner of mine. <laughs> Maybe we should wait till we get off this road. Yeah. Pause. We're running 39 BSI on a very washboard road. Yeah. So. And okay. back on a main road. Yeah. Okay. Right anyway, we're going to drop the dogs off. We're going to get freshened up and we're going to go have dinner with uh, CBI Off Road. They're a longtime partner of mine. They've been a huge support system for me and Jackie on multiple vehicles. They've been just an incredible uh, yeah. company to work with. And the people behind it are. are they're just, so fun. They're fun, down to earth, just cool, genuine people. Yeah. Like, good people stick with other good people you guys are all good people yeah so make yeah. sure you check them out if you have yeah. not heard of them or you need bumpers or skid plates yeah, roof all racks, that, roof yeah. racks all they that good all stuff, cool stuff so. but we're gonna go get some food and then continue on the expo adventure tomorrow morning we're gonna be there again at 7 a.m. hopefully we can get in with no issues <laughs> we've had a couple issues last couple days he's so tired yeah. make you a coffee yeah. I had to remind him to eat multiple times today and put on sunscreen. Hey, Wife well, life. Well, someone was coming up talk. I'm gonna I talk know. To him. I know you are. I talked to him. He everybody. was like talking to somebody and I like shoved a bowl of chicken in his face. Literally. Like, <laughs> I did. Eat. And there's like four people like. <laughs> and so he's like eating and talking and eating and talking. And I'm like, this is why I need to be here to make sure my man eats. Yeah. Eat and reapply sunscreen. And reapply sunscreen. Which I still look like. You I'm still. Tan. A, like Italian man over yeah. here. <laughs> I I was in the sun too, and look, I'm still super white. Yeah. Jealous. Anyway, we're gonna go eat. We love you guys. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. We'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. We'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys. That girl is oh. sitting there. <laughs>